So, got something a little bit different today. Um, Savista have sent me this, uh, Savista Home. So I'd like to, like to thank them for actually asking me to review this. It's a premium 3-in-1 blender. Now, I have basically got April to use it for two weeks. Um, a couple of reasons for it. First thing is my body structure is a lot bigger and obviously a lot of people that would be buying this um, would be a little bit smaller than me, <laughs> if not a lot more. Um, but the, the point being is I wanted to put it in the hands of somebody that will use it day to day but also it lets April test all the bits and pieces because she's been using it for different things all week. I've added some video clips um, which I'll show towards, well, Let's go through what equipment we've got, then I'll put the video clips, then I'll put an ending. Now the first thing we've got here is this is a bit of a chopper. Um, the blade comes out, very very sharp, be aware of that. Um, but basically to use it you just drop it in there and you've got this uh, motorized piece that you plug into the mains. Whoop. Put the lid on it first. It's a twist, twist lock lid, drops on the top there, two buttons here, remove it, but to use this you've got forward and reverse controls, they're rubberized as well, which is good, because it keeps a lot of the crap out of it, it stops getting dirty. You've got speed control on the top as well, so you can adjust the speed, and then obviously just press the button, I know what the blades will spin around, you'll see this in the videos in a minute. But to remove this, it's just like hold the two buttons and it just undoes. Very easy, very quick to use. And it's very sturdy and strong. Although although this is plastic, it's well built. The finish on this is very good, which is one of the things I do like about this. Um, then we have this little container, which has obviously got its measurements on the side. April uses this for smoothies. And this is the blade. As you can see here, it's got quite a little sharp blade in there. And that just drops in. Same as the other one. Clips in. One come out. Then you just drop it in there. And just chop everything up. We'll go through that as well in a minute. We've got a video for most of these things. And the final piece is for like if you're beating eggs or maybe you're making a cake you got your whisk the whisk has a separate attachment here because obviously you take it out it's easier to clean just pushes in here we click that's it in not going to go anywhere drop it in there and away you go so that's all the attachments now the head's fairly weighty um, but at the same time, if you're holding it like this, not really an issue. Because it's quite, um, well, it's shaped for your hand. Ergonomica, I can't remember the word. I can't say the word, should I say? Uh, but it fits quite easily in the hand for, for um, doing your old whisking or your chopping or your um, smoothie making. It is pretty sturdy. The quality on it, like I says, very, very good. No complaints on it whatsoever. Now, let's drop some of April's videos in.
So, what can we say about the blender now you've seen it in use? Um, first thing is, the balance is right. You know, it's very easy to use, it's not trying to pull you in the wrong direction, because obviously if the, the weight's off, you end up with things moving all over the place. It's very handy, It's the balance is right, you can use fingers easy enough, build quality is good, the finish on it is very nice and it more importantly it saves time I found some other products before actually end up costing you more in cleaning up uh, than actually doing it manually which sort of defeats the object this is very quick to take apart quick to clean and you know even with, with this piece to get the blade out it's literally take the lid off take the blade out give it a clean put it back so everything is very very well built and the unit itself is very well priced um, so I can see why they're selling a lot of these um, because the quality is very very good um, I'll give it five stars thanks for watching